We're back for part two of our trip to Sheer Hill Climb 2022 here on Pedalbox Road Trip. Sheer Hill Climb is held on Staple Lane just off the A246 in Surrey, a public road which is closed for the day's running with the adjacent fields in the farms used for both the show and the car park. Once again there's a huge variety of cars here and it's well demonstrated by this Lotus 211 just ahead of an AC Bristol, which is an AC Ace powered by a Bristol 2 litre inline 6. Slightly further down the queue, a 50 year design gap between this 1983 2.5 litre Alpha GTV6 in front of a 1930 Model A hot rod. I'm sure there's some purists who are going to be upset by this because this Model A is powered by a small block Chevy rather than any kind of Ford lump. Of all the things in the queue though, I think this has to be one of my favourites of the show, a Datamasso Pantera. Rumbling its way through the queue was drawing a huge amount of attention from everybody as it passed. Speaking of favourites, this Bentley was sublime, and while on the surface it's another Bentley 6.5, it's actually a very special build from Bob Peterson Engineering. This is an original 1932 chassis which has been transformed into a boat tail speedster and fitted with a Rolls Royce 6.5 litre inline 8 from the B range of engines and originally made 185 horsepower. This is the first Tesla Roadster I've actually seen in person, and you can really see the Lotus Elise roots of the chassis peeking through the Tesla body in a few places. And just a bit further down, we're back to some classic British engineering with an MGB Roadster, although I'm not sure if this was a factory colour. And a little further away again, this Morris 6 with a big V8 hiding under the hood. The Porsche Club of Great Britain was putting on a huge display at one end of the show near the seating in a dedicated club area. This 1980 Le Mans 924 was available to celebrate the huge number of victories amassed, not only overall, but in various classes up to 1979. Here we see the old versus the new, a 1967 911S parked next to a facelift 991 from 2016. Back over in the main show, American Muscle is further represented by this 1967 Galaxy 500, powered by the eponymous 289 small block which found its way into so many different models of the time. Further down, this Chevrolet Chevelle SS helped bolster the Yank presence further still. Coming in four-door, wagon and two-door models, it was billed as America's most popular mid-size car and had only minor tweaks to the second iteration of the muscle car Chevelle designated by the SS, meaning Super Sports. Some were even fitted with the 427 Big Block rated at 425 horsepower. 
This Reliant Scimitar looked much more track ready than most of the runners going up the hill at Shear. Powered by the 3 litre Ford V6 Essex engine, it looked great with extended side skirts, poly windows and pink trim. Not too far from the other MGB Roadster, there was a whole host of both Rovers and MGs, starting with this early MGB GT. Further down its sister car, the MGB GT V8, with the legendary Rover V8 jammed under the bonnet in its original 3.5 litre displacement. Just behind it, its modern counterpart, the MG RV8, with the larger 3.9 litre Rover V8, but otherwise bringing over many of the classic styling cues from the original MGB into a more modern package. Finally, the revival of the hot two-seater from MG, the MGF. Mid-engine instead of front-engined, these later evolved into the MGTF with the improved Honda 1.8 instead of the venerable K-Series. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, hit the little notification bell so you get notified when we put out more videos, and let us know in the comments what you think was the best car here today. You can become a supporter on patreon.com forward slash pedalbox show, and you can pick up some of our merch at shop.pedalbox.show. Thanks very much for watching, we'll see you next time.